Welcome to the uh, chapter 10 videos for 2017. So first video, I'm just going to be just taking you through um, what's meant by the medium term strategy of the budget and the, um, the uh, long term strategy and the, the fiscal strategy associated with the budget. So in relation to the medium term strategy, as I said, I'll just read this out and then I'll explain just sort of the key parts of this. The government's fiscal strategy aims to guide the budget back to a sustainable surplus at a responsible pace, which basically means that they want to get us back to surplus, but they don't want to do it too quick. They don't want to be sort of too fast about it. That's well, well put. So basically they want to bring their spending down to a smaller proportion of GDP and redirect spending towards areas that's going to promote investment and promote jobs. So the idea is that they are starting to be a bit smarter with their spending and shift it to more areas that are going to boost our productive capacity in the future. But they want to do it without having to increase the tax burden. So they don't want to be too contractionary in the short term because they know that that's going to threaten jobs and growth. So they're willing to take their time to get us back to surplus to repair the budget, to transition back to surpluses without undermining our goals of strong and sustainable growth and full employment going forward. So the key um, elements of this medium term strategy is to achieve budget surpluses on average over the course of the economic cycle. So it's important that you include that in your definition of the medium term strategy. But some other things you want to include, and don't quote these word for word, talk about them in general terms, is they want to direct their spending to areas that's going to boost productivity. So they want that their main expenditures to be quality investment that's going to help boost our productive capacity. They want to achieve strong fiscal discipline, so to try and reduce the amount of um, government involvement in the economy. And they want to achieve increased government revenue by developing policy policies that are going to raise economic growth and national incomes. So the idea of the policies is to boost growth in the long term and try and boost revenue that way rather than being too contractionary in the short term. And they want to strengthen our balance sheet, which basically means they want to help to reduce our debt and reduce our liabilities going forward. So the key things are they want surpluses on average over the business cycle, but they don't want to be too contractionary. They want to get to surpluses by investing in productive areas that are going to help to boost our long-term productive capacity. The medium-term strategy, the government's fiscal strategy involves managing the budget in a fiscally responsible manner to achieve surpluses on average over the course of the business cycle. It includes not increasing the tax burden. We don't want to increase taxes because that might reduce productivity. Um, but we want to ensure that we increase the net financial worth of the government over time so we have enough money for um, the future. So as you can see, there's this real commitment to reducing the gap between spending and revenue, but there's no quickness about it. It's taken quite a long time for us to get those blue and red lines to meet up. The long term, longer term budget repair strategy is that they want to achieve budget surpluses equivalent to 1% of our GDP by the year 2023-24. So in order to do that, there's sort of a set policies that they're implementing. So any new spending initiatives have to be offset by reductions in spending in other areas. So for example, if they're spending money on disability care, that's funded by increasing the Medicare levy. If they're reducing taxes in other areas, they may need to increase taxes in other certain areas going forward. So not only are they trying to um, offset any additional spending by reductions in other areas, they want to, any cyclical improvements in the budget needs to be banked. So what that basically means is if the Australian economy was to reach a peak or achieve stronger rates of economic growth, rather than spending those windfall gains, so for example, you know, hypothetically if we had another mining boom and there was lots of company tax and lots of income tax, that they wouldn't be spending all that money, they'd be saving some of it for the future, that they would be banking that cyclical improvement in the budget. And that part of the strategy is that they have a clear path to surplus over time. So they know that they've got clear policies in place to get us back to surplus by that year 2021. Okay, important point that is the government would be willing to abandon this strategy if the government was to if the economy was to fall into a recession. So if the economy was to slow down and um, they wouldn't be willing to implement discretionary contractionary policies to try and get us back to surplus. They would focus more on their stabilisation role first. So that's important that the government is still has this idea towards stabilisation while they still focus on fiscal consolidation. Okay. How can the fiscal strategy assist economic domestic stability? Well, this fiscal strategy you know, might hurt growth in the short term, but by keeping our debt at sustainable levels, we're able to promote growth in the long term by keeping our credit rating high. So in the long term, if we can keep 
our debt levels low, the government will be able to continue getting access to funds as well as private firms, which will help to keep access to lower interest rates so that we can continually push out our productive capacity in the future because we have access to those foreign funds. That investment will also allow us to create jobs and boost output going forward um, because we have access to that increased investment. Thank you.